Hey coach, so happy you found us on YouTube. A uh, couple things. First of all, make sure you go subscribe and like. That's really important. Second thing is make sure that you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's a one-stop shop for basketball coaches. It's the Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, whatever you want. It's got a little bit of everything, but it's also got a community of like-minded coaches who will help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check it out. Let's head off to the video. Now... Let's uh, get down in the post area. Let's say we don't, didn't get point to post. Point guard with the ball. <clears throat> okay. If we don't have the ball, go down the corner. Go down the corner. Four out. So we've got two wings in the, in the corners. And we've got the ball with the point guard. And then we've got a four out one in. We'll take it down to the baseline first. We'd like to get the ball either early or late to the baseline. Baseline area. Now, why is that important? Hall of Fame coach Henry Iba did this 50 years ago. He says, if you don't, in your fast break, get the ball to baseline, you can't take the pressure off and flatten the defense. You flatten the defense. She comes across and posts up on ball side. Get a post position. Now, if you don't, get down and stay down. Okay, get out in the lane because it's three seconds. Okay, active feet on posting up and elbow to elbow, arms of steel. Arms of steel because the defenders have to go around elbow to elbow. If you post up this way, a lot of players like to post up that way or one hand, then they can just go around easy to get to that ball. So you got to make them go around elbow to elbow and they pick the target. If the defense is here, it goes down here. If the defense is on the low side, and it goes the other, other hand. And if the defense is behind, they go right at their nose. So, make the game simple and easy to learn. We're looking at the post, okay? Have the ball back out there. If we don't hit the post, we would first like, the next thing we would like to do is spread and swing spread and swing now this is tough because you may have to get more space can you swing the ball do you practice swinging the ball let's say she's a little lower on the baseline and there's a little pressure out here you might have to go that far to get open can you get the ball to the second side and attack on the second side. So the next rule we always do is we must go at least second side. Spread it, swing it, and attack. So we've got to get the ball out of the corner, go as big as you have to get, and get that ball here and get it to this side. And now we attack on this side. At least here. We might swing it twice sometimes. But we want to spread it, and swing it and attack second side. Now, I don't care what you do with your post players. Uh, we like to have our players, our post player, just follow the ball. We get pretty good post players. When you got somebody 7'1", 270, not too bad in there. So we like to do that. So that's the second thing we try to do. Spread it and swing it. Spread it and swing it. Okay, any question there in our secondary break? That's all I'm going to cover on that secondary break. Hey, Coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Second all, go check teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners and stuff in your gym and become a nationally ranked coach, win more games in less time. Teachhoops.com is a community that will allow you to do that. Go over and check it out, and go check the next video out. Bye.